From the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Hannah Scholl. You see that guy, Hannah, with the, the boxing? Uh, no, I wasn't paying attention. Hannah's over here I'm doing work, honest. weather. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting ready. Apparently, this is good for your mental health, okay? Um, okay. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, good I'll good chat, it. Hannah. Moving we'll, your body we'll do this again in, in a general, just like getting out there and exercising is good for your body no matter what it looks like. And I highly recommend getting outside today, even though it's a little no, hot. No. Even though your dog might be panting, it's good for him. Okay. <laughs> All right, Hannah, I believe you. <laughs> okay, anyways, these are our August highs so far. We have had above average temperatures for the first half of August, much more uh, temperatures close to or below average for the second half so far. Yesterday, we were a little bit above average by about two degrees, but it wasn't too bad. What, one thing that we do need, though, is rain. We are more than two inches below where we should be here in Oklahoma City. But south of I-40 got a good bit of rain our last batch. So the new drought monitor comes out today and it does have data from our last batch of rain. So I think southern Oklahoma is going to look much improved on this next drought monitor. And then northern Oklahoma looks like it's probably going to be about the same or worse as they've seen about 20 days now without a quarter of an inch of rain or more. So here's our current current view from space. I think we'll see more sunshine than we have the past few days. Partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies throughout the day today. And our temperatures are going to be back up in the 90s. But we do have a very active nine day. I have precip chances on a lot of the days. I'll show you that in just a second. But this is kind of what we're working with here. We see the warm air build back to our west and it does continue to get hotter to the west and then eventually it starts to try to move in so the panhandle starts to see some hotter temperatures by Sunday but then an active pattern starts to return so we see more cloud cover, more rain chances and we see some cooler temperatures as well. So Monday into Tuesday I think is looking like the most likely chance for rain at this point in the nine day but then we do have a couple more chances throughout early next week. So there's that cooler air kind of breaking through as that strong area of low pressure sets itself up over the Midwest. So 69 degrees, their current temperature heading out the door. This is our SSM Health Cam. It's part of our Pike Pass Sky Cam Network. We have mostly clear skies, lower humidity. It is feeling very comfortable heading out the door this morning in most of the state. So the Panhandle again in the upper 50s this morning lower 70s and upper 60s for much of the state and we see a lot of middle 60s in northeastern Oklahoma as well so it is feeling pretty comfortable outside we also have light winds um, these are our current wind gusts the strongest winds now in the panhandle there with winds gusting up to 10 miles per hour but really not too bad 93 degrees our high temperature this afternoon a touch above average I think the next few days are going to be the hottest in the nine day 93 in Oklahoma City and Alva 96 in Ponca City and Enid again this is where it's been hottest the past few days north central Oklahoma that's going to continue to be the trend here 92 in Clinton 90 in Hobart Altus and Lawton and then 89 degrees in Guymon today. Lows tonight, upper 60s, lower 70s, or right around average for this time of year. And then tomorrow afternoon, we're warming up a little bit more. It's going to be middle 90s for your Friday. 94 in Oklahoma City, 95 for Stillwater, Ponca, and Enid. And then Tulsa's at 96 degrees. So we'll continue to see that heat build into the weekend. Then we have rain chances starting. So Saturday, we see a little bit more heat building in. Sunday, we see rain chances starting for the metro. And then Monday and Tuesday, spe specifically overnight, Monday into Tuesday, that's when I think you're going to have your best chances for rain. But we continue to keep a 20% chance or more in for the rest of the nine day, including Thursday, which is the first day of September, the start of football time in Oklahoma. So we're really excited about that. Stay with us. We have more news and weather right after this.